might have heard so many times that hormones are not necessarily indicative for you. And there, I'm here to tell you the real evidence. The Woman Health Initiative scared the world in 2002. But here's what the update analysis show clearly. When estrogen therapy is initiated within 10 years of menopause, and especially in younger women, cardiovascular risk is not increased and might be reduced. This is what is called the timing hypothesis, and this is endorsed by the Menopause Society and is aligned with the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association concepts of vascular aging. Part of the science, there is this study, the Danish Osteoporosis Prevention Study, is called the DOPS. Follow women for 10 years. Those who started estrogen therapy early, listen to this, early during your perimenopause or within that 10 windows from when you became menopausal, those women have fewer heart attacks, they have fewer deaths, they have improved quality of life. <clears throat> the European estradiol studies in the UK, Rosano showed that women with angina, we have discussed here in prior episodes, microvascular disease, open artery ischemia, and how women presenting with symptoms that mimic a heart attack, but they do not have blockages, they just have arteries that don't function properly. So women with angina with clean coronary arteries, what we call microvascular angina, they improve their exercise tolerance and reduce chest pain using estradiol patch, or what we said, transder transdermal estradiol. In the United States, estradiol patch or estradiol supplementation has not been approved for the use of angina. However, we do have relevant studies, as I just mentioned. So I, this is just to keep you thinking about how valuable estrogen is in our body and how co we can actually help so many women with their heart condition from the prevention to the treatment of it.